Hi there everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your program in Sector to a OneNote class notebook. So this is a pretty exciting new thing that Sector have brought out. So you notice here I am in my uh, course that I've newly uh, created and over here on the right hand side there is a new button, Manage the Microsoft OneNote class notebook. So we can start from Sector and then jump into creating the notebook. So normally we could go to the portal click on Microsoft Office 365, uh, click on Class Notebook and that will get us to this page here. So we start with Sector, go to here and we're going to create a Class Notebook. There's guides down here if you need to have a look at these on this page. But I'm going to take you through it. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to create a new Class Notebook for this course? If you've already created a notebook for the course, you can still go through these steps. Um, you would just start with the Class Notebook and I'm going to show you that how to connect up the notebook and sector. So this is if you want to create a new one, a new notebook for the course. So uh, sector is guessing that I want to call my notebook the same as I am calling the name of the class in sector and I do. Great. Next. It's going to have all of those bits in it. I'm just going to be teaching this on my own so I don't need another teacher. Student names. Now you can automatically get your students to add themselves through sector later on or you could put their names in here in the setup. Now we don't want to do this before we've um, actually started with the timetable, but I'm going to do it now for these um, particular students, just go and show you how to do it from here. So probably the quickest way is if you go to sector and if you go into your marks book, now just let me go back from here because I've created this in last year's timetable. So if you go to your marks book, I've only got three students here, but if you select email students, uh, your email will open and you can see you've there got the email of those three students. So that is actually really handy if you've got 30 students that you want to do. So all I do is highlight the students, right click and copy, then go back to this um, connection that I'm going through in OneNote and paste their names in. And that's really a much quicker way of getting, say, 30 email addresses rather than typing them in. So it's a quick way of doing that. Click on Next. Now just, just remember that when we finish this process, those students will get an email saying, Welcome to the class. So just be aware of that. Um, I can edit what I want to see in the class notebook here. Handouts, class notes and homework sounds good to me. I don't want quizzes. I can add my own ones in there if, if I want, the own sections. Or you could do that later. Then we just get a little view of what it's going to look like with my three students in my class and what the students are going to look like, what it's going to look like for the students. And then I'm going to click on Create. Now the class is done. I can open it in OneNote. If you don't have the class notebook add-in, definitely download it here if you're not sure you had it. Click on this and download that add-in which um, gives some more functionality to, to OneNote. So I can then open in OneNote online or it's just going to open it in OneNote, the actual application. Okay, so my uh, notebook is now opened. Now, I'm just going to go through the connection process of how we now connect this notebook that we've um, created with our sector course. So, first of all, under the connections menu, if we just go to connections, you'll see that there's a drop down with a list of LMSs. So, one of them is sector. So, you need to click on that and select sector. And then it's going to ask you for the address. Now I've previously done this, so <clears throat> the information is already put in there. So the address is just the address that we use for sector. So that's sector.ascollege.wa.edu.au. Okay, so you only have to do that once. As you can see, I've already done that, so it's already logged me in. So the next step is to map the class notebooks. Okay, so when you first go on here, you might need to wait a little while. There we go. So here's all my class notebooks. I've only got a couple now. So I just need to match up that the, the the class notebook that we're talking about here is the same one as the sector course. So you can see those two are the ones that we're looking at. So that's okay. Um, we can leave the top one there. So this is the one that we want. So click on OK. Then lastly, we're going to map the students. So we just need to, uh, from the class notebook, that's this one here that I've been talking about, we just need to make sure that the students are matched up. You can see those two are fine. The second one didn't work, so I've just got to choose and make sure that each student in our, my notebook that I created myself and is the equivalent of this student here in our sector, in 
in our sector marks book. So once that's OK, click on OK and then you're done. So now those two are matched up. So what can we do with this? So let's create a page in the content library. Let's call this test page. Now I can say that this is an assignment that I want them to complete. Okay, so what I did is I added this PDF form. You can see that when I added this PDF that had multiple pages, it actually created a new page for each page, um, a new page in the notebook for each page in the PDF. Now sometimes you don't want that to happen. Go to File and Options. Now in the Options, you want to go to Advanced. And one of the options down here in the advanced is in printouts, insert long printouts on multiple pages. So I'm going to unselect that. Okay, um, and then click on OK. So what I would need to do is delete these pages here. And now you can see that OneNote has inserted that PDF with all its different pages into one page on the OneNote, which is helpful. Okay, so let's say I want to distribute that page now to my students. So I can do that a number of different ways. Oh, I could just right click on the page over here and distribute page. And let's put it in um, handouts. If I look at um, Joel's page now, you can see the test page, he has got that assignment in there. He can then go in and write on that assignment um, and I will be able to view, view that at any time. With the class notebook add-in, it makes that really easy to do as well. If we go to review student work, go to class notes and I can see by clicking on here one person at a time, I can see um, what their work looks like. So. I want to have a look at, sorry it was handouts, beg your pardon. So review student work, now it's handouts. So there's Joel's work, that'll be Josh's work, and that'll be Noah's work. So I can see it all at once from there, which is, which is really easy. So I'm gonna create a new assignment now. Um, let's call the assignment, assignment one. We can give it a description, we can give it a due date, and we can create it in whichever one of these that we want. Now notice I've already used, I've already created this page in there, so it might duplicate. So let's put this one in class notes. And I'll click on create. Now if we go across to one of the students' works, oh, I could just review their work actually. So in this case, it was in class notes that we wanted to do it. And I'm gonna expand all, and I'm going to enter a grade as we go. Okay, so the grades entered up. So I can click on Joel's work. I can mark it up if I want to. So from the draw menu, I can circle, I can tick, I can add whatever I like. I can go through all of the work. I can leave comments however I like, and then I can add a mark. Sector and note one note only has a percentage or a mark out of 100. So that was really good, 90. Same thing for Josh. I can go through, I can mark up his work, give him a mark. 85. You can see how easy it is to get to each of the students' work. No, that looks really good as well, and that is going to be 95. And click on submit. Now, if I go back to my marks book in sector, you can see that those marks that I added in OneNote have carried forward into my marks book in sector, and it's created an assignment. Um, it's given a mark out of, of 100 and you can see this little symbol here shows you that it's um, connected to a OneNote assessment. Now I can easily overwrite those scores if I want to. Okay, So I can go back and uh, call that 92 and you can see that it then gives you the normal shade. So that's just one way that we can use this new class notebook and sector alliance in creating assignments, creating assessments and linking up the two.